New work from a team of scientists, including Carnegie's Josh Simon, analyzed the chemical elements in the faintest known galaxy, called Segway 1, and determined that it's effectively a fossil galaxy left over from the early universe. Astronomers use the chemical composition of stars to help them unravel the histories of the Milky Way and other nearby galaxies. Using these chemical analysis techniques, the team was able to categorize Segway 1's uniquely ancient composition. Stars mirror the chemical composition of the galactic gas from which they were born. The very oldest stars consist almost entirely of the two lightest elements, hydrogen and helium. They were born before ancient supernova explosions built up significant amounts of heavier elements. Only a few million years after stars began burning, the most massive stars explode in titanic blasts called supernovas. These explosions seeded the nearby gas with heavy elements produced by the stars during their lifetimes. The first supernovas to blow up from the most massive stars produced elements like magnesium, silicon, and calcium. In most galaxies, this process is cyclical, with each generation of stars contributing more heavy elements to the raw material from which the next set of stars will be born. But not in Segway 1, which likely failed to progress further because of its unusually tiny size. Segway 1 star formation ended at an early stage of galactic development. Three of the seven red giant stars in Segway 1 are bright enough for scientists to measure the abundance of each chemical element. These red giants have heavy element abundances like barium, strontium, and iron, more than 3,000 times lower than that of the Sun. Josh Simon explains that Segway 1 is the least chemically evolved galaxy known. Apparently, only a single generation of new stars was formed after the initial few supernova explosions. Because it stayed in the same state for so long, Segway 1 offers unique information about the conditions in the universe shortly after the Big Bang. The team used one of Carnegie's 6.5-meter Magellan telescopes in Chile to observe five of the Segway 1 stars. Another was studied with a 10-meter Keck 1 telescope in Hawaii. The final star was identified and measured by a competing team using the European Southern Observatory's 8.2-meter Very Large Telescope, which is also in Chile. The work is published by the Astrophysical Journal. With the independence for nimble pursuit, Carnegie scientists tackle some of the most profound challenges in modern science, fundamentally changing what's possible for us, our planet, and our universe.